The meltdowns at Fukushima unfold in real time recorded in secret NRC email documents. And some will never be retrieved off Hillary's deleted server. Bill Meyer, the NRC regional liaison officer, to Barbara Bryan, subject line, NRC continues to track earthquake and tsunami issues. No, sorry, our response organization here in Texas has stood down. Stood down. We still have a small group following international liaison in order to follow the Japanese plants of concern, but I am not on their distribution list. Everything I've heard is in the last few hours has been only from CNN. Nijin is a member of the NRC Advisory Committee on Reactor Safeguards. See his expert response to the global crisis. Subject line, Tsunami Fact Sheet. Oh, here's the official tasking. Sorry for putting you on the spot. Eric Leeds, NRR office director, was in my office, and Jack Grobe is my direct supervisor. Sean McGain is my equivalent, so keep him in the loop as you gather the requested documents. I will set up the SharePoint and give you contributor rights. I'll be out on Thursday as I'll be celebrating St. Patty's Day and March Madness. I'm going to be at the opening rounds at Verizon. I hope there's a team I dislike so I can distract at the foul line. Given recent events, I'll have to be good so I can come back to the office on Friday. Drink up. Yeah, party hard. Party like a rock star. Like it's your last day to live. Drink into the plume. <laughs> Question on the table. Here's a table that was already have available, which may be a good starting point. John A.K. Sif Mercer and I prepared this today for inclusion at the question and answers that we're doing. However, I don't think we want to put that out. Frankly, it's not a good story for us. Okay, if I had to make an educated judgment call from all the reports, Unit 1 is in hot shutdown, possibly in a station blackout, but in either case it's not able to get the coal shut down, possibly because of either underground piping failures, emergency service water from the earthquake, or clogging from the mud and debris washed in from the tsunami. The mud clogging piping failure is consistent with what appears to be common cause failures of the EDG after one hour of running. EDG equals emergency diesel generator. All below the water table and got washed out with the tsunami. Smart thinking, huh? So emergency generators crap out on the bottom floor after an hour. This is the American Nuclear Society backgrounder. Japanese earthquake and tsunami problems with nuclear reactors. We used to replace the reactor core water inventory, however. The battery supply control valves lost DC power after prolonged use. At the point, the plant experienced a complete blackout. No electrical power at all. Hours passed as primary water inventory was lost and core degradation occurred through some combination of zirconium cladding, oxidation, and clad failure. We are looking for some sensible comments. Wouldn't want to bother mentioning how designs have progressed through the years, but now would we? People might start asking when ours were designed and start to restrict the renewal process. Can't lose all these licenses and agreements. Okay, Thomas, let's extend them 80 years. Extend these licenses 80 years. That's our response to uh, Fukushima. Give everything a, a license that doesn't expire. Good till they blow up. Sayonara.